What's up everybody, it's Neil here with Nexus 7 Soft Modder. Today's video is about a free firewall for your Nexus 7 that does not require root. So there are popular um, applications for firewalls that require root. This one does not and it's as good and I think a lot more user friendly. And, uh, let's show you how to do this. Go into Google Play and download the application called No Root Firewall, um, as the name implies. You do not need root. Let's open it up. When you first open it up, it's going to ask you to start it, and I would suggest checking the auto start on boot so you don't have to constantly be activating it every time you reboot your device. Um, okay, so let's show you how it works. When you go, let's say, Let's say you're using YouTube. You're gonna get a notification because YouTube's trying to access the internet. Tap that notification. It's gonna take you to the pending access tab. From here, see all recent uh, pending uh, accesses. And uh, from here, you can allow or deny. But I'm gonna allow these. All right, so let's say there's an application like your browser that you don't want to always get a notification about and you don't always want to have to um, give approval. Go into apps, find the application, in this case it's Chrome, mine's already checked but it normally would be in a blank state. So go to the column down, see up here there's a Wi-Fi and a, like a data symbol, go down to the Wi-Fi one because unfortunately per um, developer, uh, the uh, LTE is not working right now, but he's working on that, so hopefully that gets fixed soon. But go into the column with the Wi Fi, find the application, oops, and put a green check. So, the green check, when you go on into uh, your browser, you're not going to get a notification up there asking you to approve. Um, let's say there's an application that you may, you never wanted to get access to the internet, um, like my. Um, my photos, I never want anyone to know where I took these photos and I never want these photos online. So I would uh, tap it again and it would put an X on it. But I have an X right now on my browser so my browser is not going to work. So let's put it right there. You would also uh, just have it blank if you want to keep granting approval. Um, for the more advanced you can set custom filters through the global filters um, tab. This is a little bit more advanced, and if you're interested in this, I will definitely check out the article on Nexus 7 Soft Modder. Finally, the last tab, Access Log. This shows all recent activity and access to the internet. You can see YouTube. It was allowed. Um, it also shows you things that you've denied, but it shows you the date and time, which is convenient. Uh, last big tip is before, let's say you want to uninstall this application, make sure that you clear all of these that you've uh, restricted or approved well mostly just uh, restricted um, doing a test run I left some restricted and uninstalled the app and I was unable to browse through the internet but then I just rebooted my device and it worked but let's just say that's not gonna work for you all the time rebooting your device so I'm letting you know to make sure that you take those X's off and clear everything before you take this application off. Uh, definitely check out the full article on Nexus 7 Soft Modder because it's detailed and everything you need to know is in there. Uh, again, thanks for watching, comment with questions, subscribe, and enjoy this because it's free.